Hello, welcome back to the video lecture series for Introduction to the Art of Programming Using Scala. In this video, we're going to continue talking about doing graphics, and we're going to look at a different setting, the clip. So, if we go back and we look at the things that you can set on a graphics 2D, um, one of them is actually the set clip, and it's it comes from, from graphics. Uh, the thing about set clip is when you draw onto a panel, so if we run what we had last time, right now this displays everything that gets drawn that falls inside of the bounds of the panel. You can make it so that it only displays a certain smaller region. So for example, if I were to proceed the uh, everything inside of here by a set clips uh, a set clip and do it a new um, ellipse 2d dot double and I'll make this a very big ellipse and what that did was it you'll notice that everything that falls outside of a large circle here got cut off now because I made it so large, that was only part of the hello world, but you can see the effect that comes from this. And what I'd like to do is not use such a remarkably huge uh, clip here. I'd actually like to make my clip a little bit smaller. Um, of course, now almost everything is gone except for a little bit of hello world. And then I'd like to add some buttons at the bottom for up, down, left, right, that when I click on them, this clip will move around. And so in order to make it so that it can move, I need some more vars. A var clip x, which will start off at 0, and a var clip y, which starts off at 0. And so instead of hard coding these, I will put in the clip X and the clip Y. Oh, uh, if we run this, we get exactly the same behavior that we had before. But now I can come down into my frame, and I am going to add into the layout a new grid panel that's one row and four columns. And I'm going to add this to the south. And inside of here, one button is going to say up. And of course, up is done by taking the clip Y and subtracting one. Remember, normally you think of in math coordinates, up would increase the Y value, but because of the arrangement of our of the y-axis in the graphics coordinates up is subtracting one down is going to add one to the y a left and a right both of which operate on x instead of y left is minus one right is plus one um, and so if I simply run this again and I can move down, 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 down. Notice there was no change. What's missing? Oh, that's right. It's the repaint. Let's move quite a bit down. Okay. And then I can force the... Uh, when I force a repaint, you can see that it changed. If I move to the left... Or, sorry, move to the right. And now I move this, now you can see a little bit in there. Uh, you know, moving by ones is probably way too small. Let's go ahead and make it so we move by tens. And I'm also going to force a repaint in here. Okay. Now if I move And 
Uh, now, notice some of you might be noticing something. It doesn't look like uh, I'm not just seeing a circle. It's revealing stuff and it's not being erased. And it turns out that's because the way that I'm draw the way that this works is it doesn't forget the stuff that was drawn before. So everything that's ever been seen right now is being drawn. And I can fix that by coming up here and before I set my clip, I'm going to say that I want the background to be drawn in white. And I am going to draw a rectangle that covers the entire background. So it starts at 0, 0, and it goes out to size.width and size.height. So it will be big enough to cover the entire panel. And now when I run this, if I move down, you can see that that is indeed changing. And if I move over, uh, now that really looks kind of odd. It looks like there's a circle moving, but the Remember, what is being drawn here is a rectangle. And the circle is just part of it that's being revealed. So if I go far enough over here, we should see the circle is revealing part of the ellipse. Okay, so, so this shows you what you can do with the clip. Um, you know, there, there are a number of uses for it, but but it can allow, definitely allow some interesting effects. Ideally, of course, what I'd like to have would be, if, for this application, it might be interesting to have the clip follow my mouse around so I could almost use it like a spotlight to reveal things. And indeed, we could do that, but that's for a later topic when we talk about how to get mouse events and key events into uh, the panel. So that's it for this video, and we'll come back in the next video, and we'll talk about the last setting uh, that we're really going to focus on for, for graphics, and that will be how to do transforms.